Hi, I'm Tom Pollack. I'm a technical advisor at Gujan Brothers West System Epoxy. We've got a bulkhead that we've removed from an old J22 sailboat. You can see that it definitely needed replacement because of the rot damage in the chain plate areas. We're fortunate in that this particular bulkhead was sound enough to where when we cut it free, we had the perfect pattern for our new bulkhead. If for some reason it fell apart on the way out, we created a, um, a mock-up of, or a pattern of the, of the bulkhead before we did. We're at our workstation. We're about to uh, fiberglass this bulkhead and um, the fiberglass serves two purposes with the epoxy. One is it's a good moisture barrier and two is it reinforces the wood fiber so that it won't crack or split. And we'll start with three pumps resin, three pumps hardener. I personally like to switch pumps back and forth to make sure that I can't miscount. We're gonna stir this real well for at least a minute, scraping into the corners and scraping the sides and the bottom real thoroughly. This is called the dry method and because this fiberglass is light enough weight, I can just pour this resin on there and it's gonna soak through quite effectively. If it was heavier fiberglass, we would definitely want to pour the resin on, spread it out and then lay the dry fabric into it to help assist in wet out. What we're using here is the 105 resin and the 205 fast hardener. That will allow us to recoat this maybe in about an hour and a half or two hours at our shop temperatures of 70 degrees. And the goal on this first application is that you want to have kind of a uniform sheen where you can see the fabric pattern but you don't want that resin to be puddled on there like you got shiny deep puddles. So you want it to be uh, just a little bit of shine, but you definitely want to be able to see that fabric pattern. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half, two hours since we applied that epoxy to the fiberglass. And um, the perfect time for recoating is while it's still a bit tacky. And I would say right now is the perfect time. Before we do that though, it's also a good time to trim away the excess fiberglass and we do that with a utility knife. And if you just kind of tug on the fiberglass a little bit to create a little tension, and then just take the utility knife around, it comes off as nice and clean as can be. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mix that epoxy up now that we got those edges trimmed. And then we're just gonna spread it with a segment of foam roller cover. So in essence, this foam roller cover is just taken from a, a seven inch roller cover, cut in half, and then cut into thirds along its length. And it makes a perfect little spreader with some softness to it, so it leaves just about the right amount of epoxy behind. So you're kind of using it just like a squeegee, but it's a squeegee that has that foam on it, and it leaves just a nice amount of epoxy behind. Now, if we weren't gonna be gluing on a teak trim Later, this would be the perfect time to put some seal coats of epoxy on the edges of that plywood. But because we are going to be gluing on some trim tomorrow, uh, there's no need to do that. Here it is the next day. Um, if you recall, we fiberglassed this bulkhead yesterday morning. And in the afternoon, we flipped it over and fiberglassed the other side. And uh, of course, this morning already, we've washed the amine blush off with a little water and paper towel and we've sanded this perimeter in preparation for the tabbing when it gets installed in the boat. Thank you.